Hi, we're Lydia and Vian, and in our last video, we swam in Australia's bluest lake and went kayaking with dolphins. In this video, we go to a beach that is known for being full of stingrays. So the last time you guys saw us, we were in Bunbury, and since then, we've gone on a little road trip through the Margaret River region. Our first stop of the trip was the iconic Bustleson Jetty. We ended up going snorkeling the entire length of the jetty and spotted a stingray. Bustleton Jetty is pretty special because it's the longest timber piled jetty in the southern hemisphere at 1.841 kilometers. We went swimming in the injured up natural spa. We walked along the walkway at Canal Rocks. We dropped by the Cape Naturalist Lighthouse. And since Margaret River is known for its wineries, we went to one of the most beautiful wineries, Voyager Estate, to go and enjoy their gardens. Which then takes us to today's video. We have arrived at Hamelin Bay. <laughs> Hamelin Bay is super popular for its stingrays, which frequent the beaches and can usually be seen in the shallows of the water. The stingrays that live here are really inquisitive and really friendly, so usually you'll see them in the shallows and they'll just come and hang out with you. So you may be wondering why the stingrays come to this beach. Well, the Hamelin Bay boat ramp is extremely popular with fishermen who at the end of the day dump their fish scraps back into the ocean near the boat ramp. So stingrays are foragers who move slowly over the ocean, eating mollusks and crustaceans and any fish scraps that they find. So the stingrays are really smart babies because they have learnt to stay really close to the shore and to follow the boats coming into the boat ramp so that they can get the leftover scraps that the fishermen leave. The stingrays at Hamelin Bay are very well fed and get an easy meal, so they're smart to stick around this area. Now. Any animal encounter is totally unpredictable because they're wild animals. And we've actually been here twice before, years prior, and we didn't see any stingrays. So we were totally hesitant whether we would see any this time around. Either way, it is a crazy beautiful beach. Yeah, it is. At this point, we were stoked to have seen a single stingray and we were surprised by how friendly and how inquisitive it was. Immediately on entering the water, it swam right over and was swimming over my feet and brushing up my legs. It clearly was used to being around people and was comfortable around us. So comfortable with us. Man, it keeps touching me. <laughs> so we were just waiting, thinking about grabbing the drone, trying to find where that ray went, and then I love that. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I keep moving out of the way. Let me wipe this real quick. Oh, that's very slimy. <laughs> Oh, he's going. Going. Hello to you guys. Yeah, what a baby. Hi. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he went right up my leg. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> right up my leg. 
that's offended now. As you can see, the stingrays are not aggressive. They are naturally very docile and gentle creatures. You just have to respect their boundaries. What's funny is that they didn't respect our boundaries. In particular, the one really big stingray would swim directly at us and would be brushing up all over our legs. There's one moment where Vian was getting drone footage and the big stingray literally swam straight at me into my legs and almost knocked me over. <laughs> and then it just paused in front of me like, hello, give me attention. It was so funny. Big guy. Oh no, not again. <laughs> hopping in the water for a swim in a clear spot and all of the stingrays would come over and check out what I was doing. There was this one moment where Vian was getting a shot of me and all four of the nearby stingrays turned around and immediately headed towards me to see what I was doing. It was so incredible and we just couldn't believe it. <laughs> Honestly, that was such an amazing experience. We kind of wish that we stayed a little longer, spent some more time with them and got more footage. They were such beautiful and lovely creatures and that interaction was unreal. I don't think we will ever get used to interacting with wild creatures like that. Thank you so much for watching guys. We hope you enjoyed watching and we can't wait to show you the insane adventure we get up to in the next video. Now this is the world's tallest fire lookout tree and we are going to climb it. Maybe we'll uh, both go for a pee and then we'll climb I think, this. I think a little bit more than a pee, Lydia. <laughs> Ryan's got jelly legs. What do you mean? Look at this, this is insane. Nothing.